What's up everybody and welcome back to our World of Warships uh, Let's play a series or gameplay series here uh, Today we are checking out the US Cruiser St. Louis uh, This is a tier 3 ship You get it really early on in the game It does not take long to get to this thing I think you actually might start out with it in your, uh, in your lineup here I don't know for sure It's been a long time since I've played the tier 3 lineup I don't think you start out with it but it's definitely very easy to get to, um, and she's really fun. That's why I still have her, even though she's a tier three. She has 14 main batteries here. Um, as you can see, they're all right here on the side. You got their secondaries are here. She got 18 secondaries. Uh, this thing is just a, it's just a beast. It's amazing to see how many shots you can throw off in limited amount of time. And uh, she does a lot of damage, especially when it comes to high explosive damage, which is HE damage, which is damage that causes fires. Um, she's really, really good. She does have some AA, as you can see there, barely. We can't get it any much closer than that. Um, but she's got a couple of AA guns, nothing that's going to stop much. So, But she's not having to go against a lot of aircraft carriers at Tier 3, so not a big deal. But she's a fun little ship, and let's get right into it. What's up guys, we are here in the St. Louis, like I said before, we are gonna right now, we're, we're in a different type of match, it's called Zone, um, which is basically we have to, I think I think this one's Zone, uh, we have to get into the, uh, this might not be Zone, this might be Domination here, of some sort, I can't remember, I'm not 100% positive, don't quote me guys, um, but we have to capture that base, um, first team to do it obviously, wins. So, but I think this is zone, um, for whatever reason, we just didn't see the countdown timer on it. So, we're going to just slip right in up front here. The Wyoming here is probably going to, it's going to be nice to help us cover. And there's also a North Carolina on our left. But we're just going to head in. Doesn't even look like the other team's in the, uh, in the zone as we are actually capturing it. So, not really sure what the other team's doing right now. It's not good for them. Um, like I said, you can win two ways, obviously, either see by the, uh, destroying all the other ships in the other fleet, or, uh, capturing bases. So, let's see if we can get, start getting some shots off here. We don't have much range on the, uh, St. Louis here. It's around 10 kilometers. And as you can see, that Carl Schuh is outside our range. So is that South Carolina that's coming down. Hopefully, hopefully someone will come in here with us, because we're going to keep pushing straight in to try and try and help cap this and we'll get a quick easy victory here that's what we're gonna try and do but remember guys if you want to play with us uh, we created a channel iVision games is the channel uh, I'll put the link into the video that shows you how to do it if you want to join you can always be there I'm on a couple times a day at least usually in the afternoon and also in the evening so if you want to play with me just go into that channel when I hop on I'll see you there and we can team up but let's uh, see if we can start doing some damage here. Show you guys. We got ooh, look at this, a cruiser. Ooh, within our range. Let's look at that. It's uh, it was a bad, bad shot though. Bad shot. A little rusty with the St. Louis. Let's, but you could just see what I mean. We just reloaded up right away. I mean, the reload time's like eight seconds on this thing. It's just unbelievable. This is great. Here's another little one. Oh, that was a decent round. Decent round, 700 damage. But we are just going to wipe this guy up. He, he came in the wrong area. Alright, we destroyed his torpedo tubes, caught his engines. That's good. Look at that. We are just destroying this guy. He's gone. It's ours. That's one kill already with the St. Louis. I mean, she's just a beauty. Look at this guy. This guy wants to play too now. He's probably going to fire some torps. I didn't even see him there. He's probably going to get some torps on us, though. There, we, we got his engines, though. That's a start. Get, the, uh, get those engines, it's always helpful. And well, there we go, got his torpedo tubes now, so hopefully if he hasn't fired, uh, we got those as well now. You can see, uh, and his engines are gone again, he's on fire. He's just taking a lot of heat right now, so that's good there. We got some battleships pushing up on us on the other side. There's another St. Louis, he's probably going to try and shoot some rounds at us as well. Now the BBs are... No, St. Louis is focusing on the other guys. So let's keep on this uh, 
this destroyer here who looks like he's lost his engine steering torpedoes he's lost it all that guy's just screwed and we're just getting now pounded on by those uh, BBs up ahead but we want to take care of this destroyer here we might get the kill will that be ours that is ours that's kill number two with the st. Louis Man, we are just making quick work out of this team here we're still capturing the base now we're on fire we are taking some heat though three BBs a st. Louis and a DD all over here but now we're showing broadside which is not good um, but with the St. Louis the quick rate of firepower with these guns I want to show a little bit of broadside you know you want to put the when you're in a cruiser and in a DD you want to honestly try and set these ships on fire when, when you get into a BB just because you don't have enough armor piercing rounds just don't do enough damage to, to even bother hurting a, a battleship so that's why I want to set them on fire that's when it's going to hurt them the most it also helps your team out if you get a destroyer in there. If you get a cruiser, um, if you get the Japanese cruisers, it definitely helps because they have the torpedoes so they can get in there and launch their torps. And uh, if you obviously set a destroyer on, or a battleship on fire like, we're, like we've had done and they use their uh, repair party to put out that fire, uh, depending on when your team can move in with those torpedoes, uh, you might get that kill because they won't be able to uh, prevent the uh, flooding from happening. So we've already got four hits on these guys. We got two, two ships destroyed. We're capturing the base again, and so we're just gonna keep with this guy, South Carolina. What's he doing? He's not even paying attention to us. Man, I don't know. If I were these guys, I'd be going right for me. He's on fire now. That's what I love about St. Louis. She just fired so many rounds. Oh, the North, the South Carolina there saw us. He uh, gave us a round or two. But you can just see by like it don't matter anytime we turn or anything we always have guns just ready to go just because of how they're they're set up on the st louis here it's just amazing um but they got three ships left their ball three are d or our battleships they've got that two south carolinas and what are they, a miyogi over there so looks like our team did really well this well we were very aggressive went in strong and uh that south carolina's destroyed and we shot our rounds that was a waste of rounds, but oh well, we weren't going to shoot him at anything else here. And uh, as you can see, yeah, just a Miyogi in the South Carolina, two kills. We got a lot of guys with two kills here. So that's uh, that's pretty good. But we're going to try and tackle this Miyogi as it comes around the hill, like so. We'll swing around and see if we can get some, uh, set this guy on fire a little bit, help our team out some more as well. And no fires yet. Well, we're basically almost full broadside on them, so we're giving them the full, full wrath of our guns. I'll tell you what, as a, as a battleship player, it is a pain, and you just get so frustrated when you got all these cruisers just lighting you up with high explosive rounds, and you're getting on fire, and they're taking stuff out on you. It's just, it's a pain in the butt. It gets very frustrating, and it's fun though when you get to do it. So. We almost got the base capture, but I think we're just all going to go for the kill. We have so many ships left, and that South Carolina is going to be gone right there. I can just tell. There's so many torpedoes around him. And that is the game. That was super quick work there. That's actually really a lot of fun. That was awesome there. As you can see, 1,300 XP points. We were number two. That's awesome. I love that. Like I said, I love being in the top three. It's my goal. And we did about 30,000 damage. So that was a really good round, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.